All right. We're joined today by head women's basketball coach, Karen Swager. Karen, it's an exciting time around the program whenever you jump on camera and we talk women's basketball, but this time of year, it's bringing in some transfers for next year. Um, got an exciting product coming in from Duke, uh, Michaela Boykin. Just give us your overall thoughts on her joining the program. Well, we're just incredibly thrilled to bring Michaela into our program. It's not often that we get the opportunity to bring in a former Miss Basketball in the state of North Carolina, you know, one of the most highly uh, decorated uh, prep athletes to come out of North Carolina. Um, and now to have that opportunity to bring her to our program here at Charlotte, um, you know, we're just really, really excited. Talk about her background a little bit. She, she was injured throughout her career at Duke, but her prep background, I mean, you mentioned the Miss Basketball, but she was among the top players in the country uh, throughout her high school career. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we had the opportunity to watch her a lot uh, during her high school career. And, um, you know, even despite injuries, I mean, it was clear that she was, you know, so much better than uh, so, you know, all these players around the country. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate that she's been through some injuries, you know, throughout her career. But I don't think that takes away from the player that she is. I mean, she's a she's a player that can come into our program uh, and make a huge impact right away. Um, you've had a lot of success over the years bringing in transfers, especially a number from Power Five schools. Um, what does that mean for this program to bring another one back from Power Five into this program and um, how they've been able to be impactful? Well, I think it says a lot about our program that we're respected. Um, you know, we, we attract players who, you know, are looking for, you know, something different for whatever reason that is. Um, but we've become a really attractive place uh, for the, those student athletes because of our program, because of the success we've had um, as a program, but also the success that our individual players have had. You know, that's one thing that, you know, we probably don't tout enough. I mean, our players improve here at Charlotte. They get better. We, we focus on player development, um, you know, and that's evidence of all the players that we've had that have been named to all conference teams throughout the years. Any other final thoughts on Michaela? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really important to also just point out not just the player she is, but but the person and the leaders that she is. I mean, I'm equally excited. Uh, her and I hit it off right away um, in the recruiting process. Um, so I'm excited to bring in a player that shares a similar vision for what we're trying to do here at Charlotte. Um, but I but I think her leadership uh, is going to be really important, you know, especially with us, you know, transitioning from, you know, losing some seniors who have played a lot of minutes under me, who, who brought a lot of leadership. You know, someone with her experience who's been through a lot. I mean, it hasn't always been easy for her, obviously, um, but but somebody that's competed at the highest level um, and had to go through some adversity, uh, brings some maturity, some leadership that I think that's going to be really, really important uh, to our team next year. All right, Gary, sounds like a great addition for next year. And we look forward to Michaela wearing the green. Yep. Thank you.